Library and today we're going to talk all about, did you see what was on the screen? Did you see it? What is that? It's a dinosaur! Good job. So we have a, do you know what dinosaur starts with? Good job, it starts with a D. And I have a green D, so da 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 dinosaur. So say it with me, ready? Da 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 dinosaur. And here is a picture of a cute little dinosaur. So we're going to show you a huge map that we have about dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs, they're so interesting. So, check out my cool poster about dinosaurs. I have, let's see, early discoverers that in the 1820s, an English doctor, Gideon Mantle, who collected rocks and fossils as a hobby, found some large teeth and bones. He concluded that they must have belonged to some type of giant reptile, which he named an iguanodon. And we'll talk about those here in a second. So we have carnivores, herbivores. So a carnivore has rolls of carb teeth and they are meat eaters. So like, you know how we like to eat meat? If you like to eat hamburgers or steak, we have teeth for that too. Flesh eating dinosaurs were called theropods. We have herbivores, they ate plants. They were this extraordinary group of animals ranged in size for gigantic long necked sauropods to tiny creatures the size of chickens. Some dinosaurs only ate plants, others were meat eaters, plant eaters. So they ate like your leafy green salads and stuff like that. It shows dinosaur eggs. We have feathered dinosaurs. That one's a new one for me. So, after the discovery of feathered dino boards in China in 1998, it is now thought that many different kinds of dinosaurs, such as a velociraptor, had feathers. Didn't know that. Heather, did you know that? That's kind of cool. <laughs> so, we have a long neck skeleton, and it was a seropod, which was a brachiosaurus. When it was alive, it weighed around 4.5 tons. That's a lot. That's like a lot. A lot, a lot. We know about them because the remains which have been preserved in rock as fossils. So, if you like to collect rocks, because me and Heather did as children, we absolutely love it. We had collected rocks, and we put them in a box, and you can learn a lot about that. I like it. 1842, paleontologist Richard Owen coined the term dinosaur derived from the Greek dinos, meaning terrible or fearfully great. And sauros meaning lizard or reptile. Scientists classify dinosaurs into two orders, Sacrosaurus and Orithio. Saints. That's different. Based on the structure of the bones and their hips. I remember taking a class on that, but <laughs> I totally remember that. But it didn't hit me until right then, because I was like, oh yeah. I was like, that'd be so cool to be a paleontologist. Now we're going to talk about our dinosaur world map. We have the Brachiosaurus. The Brachiosaurus is from Africa. That's where they originally had found the bones, so they think that that's where it lived. Then we have the Apatosaurus and Stegosaurus, and they found their bones on Europe. Years ago, they think they lived in Europe. What is now Europe? We have a Velociraptor and a Tyrannosaurus, T-Rex, and they believe to have lived in what is now Asia because of PNG and everything going on in the world. It separated. <laughs> then we have the Allosaurus, and it was known to have lived in Australia. And guess where the Triceratops is from? North America. So that's where we are. North America, United States of America. They believe that Triceratops lived in North America. And the Iguanodon is said to have been in South America because I found bones there. The little Iguanodon lived in South America. What is now South America? Ankyosaurus is found, was found, in Antarctica. Ankyosaurus lived there, walked around. It wasn't known as Antarctica then. Now it's known as Antarctica in PNG and everything like that. So, we're going to get started with our pop-up dinosaur book. And it's just a pop-up to get your jaws into. We're going to dig our jaws into it. So we have an Amherd Beast. A Triceratops has huge horns. One, two, three. They make him look as tough as can be. He's ready to charge, so stay back. You never know when he might attack. We have the Gentle Giant. 
Brachiosaurus is so mighty and proud because she's one of the tallest ones around. This gentle giant does not eat meat, but looks for plants on four big feet. The Flying Hunter. This reptile is the king of the skies. He flaps his enormous wings and flies, swooping low and soaring high, one of the biggest ever to fly. Super Defender. This mommy dino protects her nest. She really is tougher than the rest, using her strong club-like tail to knock down dinos without fail. Mega Monster. Snap, snap, roar! T-Rex's jaws are open wide, but don't you dare look inside, for he is hunting for something to eat, and dinos make a tasty treat. Oh, no. So that's our cool little pop-up dinosaur book. So, what we're going to do next? We're going to make a mean dinosaur face. Can you make a mean dinosaur face? Mean face. Good job. I'm a mean old dinosaur. Big and tall. Can you go big and tall? Big and tall. Here is my tail. Can you show me your tail? Here is my tail. And here is my claw. Can you show me your claw? Good job. When I get all hungry, you rub your tummy? Good job. When I get all hungry, I just growl. Can you growl? Grrrr. Look out, kids. I'm on the prowl. So we're going to do that one more time. Are you ready? Mean old dinosaur. I'm a mean old dinosaur. Big and tall. Here is my tail and here is my claw. When I get all hungry, I just growl. Look out, kids. I'm on the prowl. Okay, our next little story that we have is so cute. I almost cried when I first read this because it was very touchy. It is, Am I Yours? And it is written and illustrated by Alex Latimer and published by Pete's Tree Atlanta. 200 million years ago, an icy wind began to blow. It blew great clouds from east to west and pushed an egg out of a nest. The egg rolled gently down a hill, slow at first, then fast, until it bumped a rock and spun around and came to land on level ground. It sat there through that cold, dark night. At last, it felt the warm sunlight, and with the light came thumping feet. The egg called out, soft and sweet. Um, excuse me, please, but am I yours? I'm sure I am a dinosaur. First, Stegosaurus wandered near and asked the egg loud and clear, What do you look like inside that shell? I can't see in, so I can't tell. Are there spikes along your spine, long and flat and sharp like mine? Uh, I have no spikes, I'm sad to say, so I'm not yours, but that's okay. Next, Brachiosaurus leaned in low and asked his questions calm and slow. What do you look like inside that shell? I can't see in, so I can't tell. Do you have a longish neck, or is it short? Can you check? Uh, it's very short, this neck of mine, so I'm not yours, but I'll be fine. Triceratops came trotting by and spoke to the egg eye to eye. What do you look like inside that shell? I can't see in, so I can't tell. Do you have horns? One, two, three. Three sharp horns, just like me. Uh, I have no horns. I wish I did, so I'm not yours. I'm not your kid. Corinthiosaurus ambled past. She stopped and stared, then spoke at last. What do you look like inside that shell? I can't see in, so I can't tell. Is there a crest upon your head, or is it flat and smooth instead? Oh, I, I have no crest. I just checked now. 
So I'm not yours, but thanks anyhow. Tyrannosaurus came to see and asked the egg quite lovingly, What do you look like inside that shell? I can't see in, so I can't tell. Do you have a mouth of teeth, sharp up top and down beneath? Hmm. My teeth are few, the egg replied. So I'm not yours, it said, and sighed. The sun sank slowly in the sky and the lonely egg began to cry. The light of the day is fading fast. I'm sure this night will be my last. I can't survive in wind and storm. I'll freeze alone. I must stay warm. You are not ours. Who could you be? We wish there was a way to see. But as the sun began to set, it showed a perfect silhouette. A pair of wings, a pointy snout, and two strong legs, both short and stout. We see you now inside your shell. We know your folks. We know them well. The egg was rolled back up the hill, rolled and nudged and pushed until they reached a soft and sandy mound. They left it where it would be found. Then came the thump of heavy feet. The egg called out so soft and sweet. One last time, I must be sure. Are you the ones I'm looking for? We're two ecstatic parents. And when the night had come and gone, the sky was clear with the light of dawn. There came a tap, a crack, a scratch, and a lucky egg began to hatch. The end of it shows you all the different dinosaurs that were in that book. I hope you all enjoyed that book. It was such a good little book. So what we're going to go over next, I'm going to put some pictures on my little whiteboard. And we're going to talk about going on a dinosaur dig. So let's go on a dinosaur dig. What kind of tools should I bring? Hmm. I know I'll need, let's see. Do you know what that is? I think I need that. It's a camera. Good job. I need a camera to take pictures of everything. Um, I need, do you know what that is? Good job, it's a tape measure. I need a tape measure because I can check the distances between the fossils I find on the ground or by a big ravine. My dad will bring his, let's see. Oh, do you know what that is? A jackhammer to remove those large hard rocks and a geological, what is that? Hammer, good job. That will help him with smaller spots. And I will use a little, do you know what that is? A brush. Good job. I will use a little brush to remove some sand and dust. Once the rock has been removed, this tool is quite a must. If we find a fragile bone, I know just what to do. We'll wrap the bone in some, do you know what that is? Tin foil, we'll wrap the bone in some tin foil. And then, maybe some tissue. Some plaster of Paris. We use some plaster of Paris. We will add in order to protect the bone from breaking while we try to complete this tough project. A, you know what that is? Magnifying glass, good job. A magnifying glass. I'll take and keep right by my side. I'll look at teeth or small fossils that I hope we will find. Now, if we have a huge amount of fossils on the ground, we might need some ropes and some pulleys to move them all around. Let's go on a dinosaur dig. I know what tools I'll bring. Let's go on a dinosaur dig with supplies and everything. Let's go on a dinosaur dig. My tools are all now packed. A paleontologist I will be because I know I have the knack. 
I hope you all enjoyed that. That was kind of fun to do. So for our next book, we have I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. I love this book. I'm a Dirty Dinosaur, and it is written by Janine Bryan, and the Ill pictures are illustrated by Ann James. I'm a Dirty Dinosaur with a dirty snout. I never wipe it clean. I just sniff and snuff about. Sniff, sniff, snuff, snuff. Sniff and snuff all about. I'm a, dirty, I'm a dirty dinosaur with a dirty little face. I never have a wash. I just shake about the place. Shake, 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 shake about the place. I'm a dirty, dirty dinosaur with a dirty tongue. I splatter it with mud and I top, tap it like a drum. Tap, 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 tap it like a drum. I'm a dirty dinosaur with dirty, dirty feet. I splash in all the puddles and I stamp about the street. Stamp, 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 stamp about the street. I'm a dirty dinosaur with a dirty tail. I flick it in the muck or I slide it like a snail. Slide, 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 slide it like a snail. I'm a dirty dinosaur. I'm yucky. Oh my gosh. And I think I'll stop right to the swamp and what you think the dinosaur's gonna do? Give myself a wash. Wash, 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 wash. Give myself a wash. And there's our clean dinosaur. He's no longer dirty. That's the end of that book. So our next little thing that we have, I have five enormous dinosaurs. So we have five enormous dinosaurs. So can you show me five and wiggle it? Good job. Five enormous dinosaurs shouting out a roar. One ran away. What color is that one? Yellow, good job, one ran away. And then there was, we had five, take one away. Four, good job, so we have one, two, three, four. Four enormous dinosaurs, as happy as they could be, till the wind blew by, and then there were three. So one's gonna leave, what color is this one? Orange, good job, so it's gonna leave. So we had four, take away one more, we have Three, good job. So we have one, two, three dinosaurs. Three enormous dinosaurs were taken to the zoo till one got away. And then there were two, good job. So this one ran away, what color is it? Blue, good job. And it ran away, so now we just have two. Two enormous dinosaurs were having such fun till a volcano blew up. And then there were just one, good job. What color is that dinosaur? Pink, good job, and it ran away. One enormous dinosaur must have weighed a ton till the lakes dried up and then there were none. So we had one, start with five, went down to one, then now we have done. They're all gone. Our next book we're going to do is another pop-up dinosaur book. And it looks like that. It is illustrated by Derek Matthews and written by Doug Old Steer. And it's published by Millbrooks Press. So we have, if this were a zillion years ago, think of the dinos that you would know. Do you know this dinosaur? It is a triceratops. Now, this is one who likes to munch. In fact, he eats 10 trees for lunch. It's a lot of trees. Most dinosaurs just love to play. They hide and seek both night and day. But many of them are so very tall, they find it hard to hide at all. You know what dinosaur this is? It's a Diplodocus.
Among the cliffs, above the shore, there lives a flying dinosaur. Gigantic wings help her to fly around the prehistoric sky. You know what dinosaur that is? It's a triceratops. Nope. Tear it on. My bad. <laughs> that was a triceratops. This younger youngster has a funny shape. His spikes are sharp. They make you gape. Right now, he's just a little one, but he'll be huge at 21. Do you know what dinosaur that is? The Steosaurus. Deep in the waters of the sea, a dino swims around with glee. Her tail goes splash, splash, and her flippers go flap. Her giant jaws shut with a snap. And this dinosaur, you know what it is? The Mosiosaurus. Some dinosaurs can really run. They race and make it look like fun. Just watch their legs go to and fro. Where's this one going? Do you know? You know what dinosaur that is? It's a velociraptor. Here beneath the leafy shade, these enormous eggs were laid. This seems to be a special batch. Oh look, a baby starts to hatch. Do you know what dinosaur this is? It's so cute. It's a Protoceros tops. I like the purpleness of it. This dino makes her tail go thump. The noise is loud. It makes you jump. Her skin is thick and very lumpy. No wonder that she's often grumpy. You know what dinosaur that is? It's an Angliosaurus. Mysaurus rex. I have a hard time saying that word. If someday you hear a roar, don't think that it's a dinosaur, for as you know, and sad to say, there are no dinosaurs today. And I hope you all enjoyed that book. I love the big pop-up books. They're so pretty. So our next book is Meet Dizzy Dinosaur by Jack Tickle. I'm excited to meet Dizzy. And it's published by Tiger Tales. Hello everyone, meet Dizzy Dinosaur. Over here Dizzy, we're behind you. Huh? Isn't he cute? Dizzy loves to be tickled. Come on everyone, let's tickle Dizzy on his tummy. Can you tickle Dizzy on his tummy? Good job. Hee 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 hee. Oops, we've tickled Dizzy a bit too much. Look out Dizzy. Flash, poor soggy Dizzy. Let's shake the book up and down. That will dry him off. Can help me? Let's shake the book up and down, up and down, up and down. Whoa, that's a bit too shaky. Hick, hick, hick. Uh oh, now Dizzy has the hiccups. How can we stop them? I know, we can surprise him. Let's all shout boo on three. Ready? One, two, three. Boo! Uh oh. I think we might have scared him. Oh, no, Dizzy. We're sorry we scared you. We have to help Dizzy down from the tree. Let's turn the book sideways. We're going to go this way, okay? Can you help me turn the book sideways and shake it? Oops, poor Dizzy has bumped his bottom. Come here, Dizzy, we can cheer you up. Coming. Slow down, Dizzy, you're going too fast. bumped his nose. I know what he needs. Let's all give Dizzy a great big kiss. Ready? That's better. Bye bye Dizzy. See you soon. You want bye to Dizzy? Say bye Dizzy. Good job. I hope y'all enjoyed that story. It's so cute. So I'm going to show you what we have in our kit that you're going to get this week. We have a coloring page, 
and it's a D for dinosaur. We have Help Little Dwarf Dinosaur Find His Way Home. It's a maze. We have a dinosaur with a book in its mouth, which is a big no-no, and a library card that you can color. And we have Boris the Brontosaurus, and you can color that, and it's a rhyme you can read with your parents. We have another maze, which is plenty of plants. Getting started with writing, and you can trace the dinosaur and ask you who lived all those many years ago. Then there's some wrong songs and rhymes to show you that we'll put in there for you, just about dinosaurs that you can do. And a dinosaur coloring sheet. There will be some little surprises with dinosaurs in there. And then we have a sticker sheet. So here's the sticker sheet. Here's the stickers. And you're going to put them on there any way that you like. And then we have a few of these colorful little dinosaurs that you will get and you make your own book and you have to color the dinosaurs. Like I see a red dinosaur, so guess what color you have to color it? Red. And then we have this cute little dinosaur and this egg. And you'll cut this little line right here and it'll open and close and you'll see a little dino's head peek out. Then we have a cute little few of these dinosaurs that you will get to put on a piece of paper and decorate. There's a few dino tattoos that you might get in your bag. There's a dino bookmark for everybody. And some more of those little dinosaurs that I showed you. So we hope you enjoyed our dinosaur story time because I love it. And we will put some dinosaurs back here for you to see.